Do you know, it, it really is a, a fascinating part of the county, isn't it? I mean, oh, you can I drive through it and not know. You could. A lot of people do, and I think that a lot more people need to stop and start to explore and peel back the layers of North Shropshire and Cheshire and North Wales, because I think there's so much to be discovered around here. It's fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. You're tuned to Bob Watch. I'm John King. And I'm Sarah Lanyon. And joining us here today, we have Sue Gainsborough, who is the director of Media Active. And I feel slightly nervous sitting opposite you because you have done so much over the past few years to bring all these young people to together to essentially create this that people are watching now this is a, a well that's nice to, to say to say so <laughs> but I can't really take all of the credit the credit really is with the young people and 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 actually I have to say with me as a Moss's landscape partnership scheme um, because we've we've been working with them for a few years now um, they first approached us with an idea and um, and then we ran with that idea and lots of different things have come about um, and we now have a strand of our program that's called uh, me as a Moss's Me- media makers these are Moss's media makers. Um, so all sorts of different things happen where young people can engage in skills development and training, um, make films, animations, get out in the wildlife, create films, get involved with something as exciting as Bog Watch. Um, and that's all to do with the relationship that we've developed with Mirza Moss's and all of those specialists and, and enthusiasts that are connecting and, um, and wanting to share their love and passion in relation to the Mears and Mosses. I have to say, when you see the confidence it instills in these young people, it's a fantastic start in their lives, isn't it? Absolutely, and I think, obviously I would be an advocate for, for media and, um, and the arts, um, but I think there are different ways in, and I think that's what's interesting for, for us. The way that we work with young people is to sort of give them um, give them support in how they develop skills and give them um, routes into acquiring knowledge that will inspire their enthusiasm and then just hopefully give them support so they can run with it. You were talking to Elliot a little while ago. Um, We've worked with Elliot for for a few years now and it's just, he's, well, clearly, he's so prolific. He's got so much that he wants to do. He'll go far in life for sure. and I think you sorry just before you started talking to me you were talking about the um, you know driving through the landscape the hidden yeah. treasures and I think the hidden treasures absolutely that's what the young people that we work with are finding that on their doorstep and I have to actually I put myself in the mix there too before working with me as a mosses I, I live in the area and I hadn't quite realized what a wonderful trove of treasure there is on our doorstep so it's fantastic that we have the opportunity to, to celebrate that. And, it, and it's wonderful that it, as well as putting on Bog Watch today, so all the production team behind the scenes are young people connected in some way with Media Active. You've also got a film yurt here today at Mirfest. What's going on in there? Yes, yeah, so the film yurt connects to another project that we run where we work with young people um, under the Adventures in Alternative Cinema programme, and that's funded by the British Film Institute. And the Adventures programme is all about giving young people the opportunity to understand there's lots of different ways of making a film, lots of different film content, um, lots of different ways you can watch a film. It's not just about going to a multiplex and watching a Hollywood film. And because we think that's really important, broadening their horizons, but also that informs their filmmaking as well though. So, so through Adventures, we've, pr- we've had a, y- a group of young people that have uh, put forward their ideas and spent time researching and programming the films that will run in the film year today. So we've got a variety of compilations. Um, we've got a mix today of, of during the daytime of um, some of the, the features that you're streaming today. Um, and some archive film and then this evening we've got a screening screening of fantastic Mr Fox <laughs> Roald Dahl's classic and um, that's at, that's at five o'clock so come along and watch and then at nine o'clock we've got a compilation of more archive films and I'll just speak briefly about the archive films so I'm being attacked by wildlife here um, so the, um, the archive work that we're screening in the yurt today um, is part of Britain on Film, it's the BFI again, who are really keen that hidden treasures, all of those 
wonderful films that have been collected over many, many years, whether it's by amateurs or professional filmmakers, and are tucked away in archives. They've been digitising that content, and they're really keen that people get to get access to that content. So, um, so we've curated, or the young people have curated, a selection of films using MACE, that's Media Archive Central England, um, using their archives, and also working with Flicks in the Sticks, who are a, a Shropshire, a local um, cinema touring project, and they've been collecting um, archive film that really has been tucked away, not even with an archive. Sue, I'm sorry, we're going to have to stop you there because we've got one of these films actually ready to roll now. So if we have a look at one of these amazing treats, we can sit back and enjoy all that hard work. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, Thank you Sue. very much. country to the soil I must come to term. The spores I'm waiting up in the spout for me to disturb the worms. I hadn't a long been again when some had suddenly made me laugh. Ha ha! When I finished big yard in last season, oh the blooming hell borrowed me cap. Well, follow me dog, me did my day, follow me righty yo. Follow me dad, me did my day, follow me day yo. Hang about that, it sounds lovely, but what what's the, up with me? What's it mean? Well, it's the local dialect about here. That's how they talk up here. I'm a stranger from Wellington, you know. How do they talk up here? Well, it's based on the bisna, the shasna, the cosna, the osna. The wasna, the shasna, the sugars and fit. Just in case you didn't know, it's the Monday following the first Sunday after the 4th of September and it's the day for this annual ritual, the Abbot's Bromley Horn Dance, a somewhat peculiar rural custom that goes back in the mists of time. The reindeer horns here have been scientifically proven to be over a thousand years old, but other than that fact, nobody's got a clue what all this is about. It's absolutely British, this is. Even the dancers themselves don't know why they're dancing. It's a bit odd to say the least, isn't it? My dad did it. <laughs> but do you know why he did it? His dad did it. Well, why do you think his dad did it? Well, it's probably his dad did it as well. Do you know why all your ancestors have done it and you're still doing it? According to what few books there are that actually go back that far, uh, it's stated to be a fertility right. You're all convinced of this, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You want to see my missus? <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't got a car nowadays and you live in a small village like Whittington here near Litchfield, which maybe isn't as well served by public transport either, getting about can be a bit of a problem. Well, one farm worker, John Moore, seems to have solved that problem here. And not with any help from modern means of transport either. Every day, John Moore comes through the village on a ton of bullpar. Three-year-old Hereford bullpar. Indeed, uh, he should be coming through just about now. Johnny, can we stop it there just for a moment? Hi. Hello. You think you'll allow me to stroke him? Hmm? Hello. Do you think he'll let me on board, Johnny? I know he might do, but once he's upset, you know you've had it. What, you think he might throw me off? Well, once he's upset, I mean, you're strange, he might... Uh... Ah, well, can we try it? You'd well, like you... to lift me, Can you get that? onside the path? Can you spring? Oh, cracky. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this. Whoops. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I don't think so, sir. <laughs> now, let's try that again. All right, right. Oh, oh. Ah, fantastic! I'm up. Now uh, you think? Well, yep. Just, just take it easy. Take, take it easy, Bill. T take, whoops. Take it easy. Right, Johnny. Well, I've got to talk to you here. I think we're facing around the wrong way for the camera. But uh, hello, hello, fella. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's hitting me with that dirty tail of his. Oh well, I'll put on me gardening gear. Check me gans it arousal of flen. I'll put me clawed uppers to warm on the yob and tap them with leather again. I'll get myself up in the fender and get me a stomach a kick. I'm putting the meat yard in a row, I shall lost if no buggers borrowed the wreck. Well, follow me down my day, my day, follow me down my day. Follow me down my little my day, follow me down my day, oh! Hey.
Oh, I wonder where me acres go and I got nothing to call me own. Because the sea, the house for winds and butter more they groan. There's a chap here and in just over the road. He seems to be taking his time. He might as well stop and have a gear up around. There's some buggers borrowed his line. Well, follow me round it in along. Follow me round it day. Follow me round it in along. Follow me round it day. Oh, hey. Oh, now I'll think I shut me trap with a lock on the coal house door To stop the dead from bolting, the spirits from dragging the floor All the gardeners in the village, I'm buggered is plain to see They'll have to form a gardening club to find out where the tank might be Well, holy rolly rain along, holy rolly rain Holy rolly rain along, holy rolly rain Well, it's gardening time, gardening time Round the tater dump, take a spin Lend up the neighbors, I tranquil men. The night might never see the buckers again. Holy, holy, ray, oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>